I've got games, so many games, I don't know what to do with all these games. And if you just want to chat, let's talk in bits and bites, cause I'm down like that. When I'm at the Goodwills, or when I'm checking Craigslist, all I'm thinking about is my NES. It's just something I do, it's like the passing the time. Without further ado, let's end this rhyme. Hey everybody, it's me, Justin, aka Google Hunter, and I'm back with another video that I've decided to put together on considerations and possible uh, areas that most people probably don't think about when they think about picking up one of these guys. This is the Neo Geo MVS. Um, it's their multi-video system or multi-video game system or it's multi-video system. Um, it was kind of a way for um, the uh, arcade owners uh, to get more games in but without using up all that space. Because if you think about every game in the arcade, typically it was dedicated, so you had your, you know, your Galaga or your Donkey Kong, and that was it. If you wanted to play another game, you had to you know, put in another arcade. Well, this one uh, arcade cabinet houses four games. So it was kind of a, a really good idea, especially in Japan, uh, where space is limited. So anyways, I knew that I had to add one. I loved the Neo Geo, and I still do. Uh, it's just something, uh, walking into a laundromat, or you know, seeing it at the arcade, it was different, you know. It had like these four colored buttons, and you know, had the ability to select different games. And the games were, you know, for the most part, they weren't, they weren't bad, they were pretty good. They had, I mean, there's a lot of very good Neo Geo series like Samurai Showdown, Metal Slug, um, The King of the Fighters, and I was really into fighting games and still am. So to have that type of series um, with the art style and it just, it blew me away. And I just knew later on that I was gonna buy one. So I did, I broke down and I bought one. Uh, but as you can see, I got a four slot. They do come in one slot, they'll come in uh, four slot and they'll also come in a six slot. I don't know why I'm shooting shotgun. Six. Six. So I got a four slot. Now you'll notice the mine is about maybe five, five and a quarter feet tall. They do have a slightly taller model that has, instead of the speakers being here, speakers are mounted above. And I'll insert a picture of what I'm talking about. I actually kind of wanted that one. Um, it's got a little bit slimmer uh, design, and uh, the speakers are forward-facing as opposed to you know, uh, facing the bottom of the machine. This one comes with, you know, Metal Slug, Samurai Showdown 3, uh, SPC, uh, SNK uh, Chaos, which I bought, did not come originally, um, and Busta Move. Um, the other one that did come with it was... Puzzle de Pong, which is pretty much like Busta Move. And that one actually isn't in there right now. I then had to spend a little bit of money after, um, and that's kind of why I'm making this video, is because it's just the things that you don't consider about, you know, you have to figure, this is a 20 year old plus machine. It's gonna need to have some uh, maintenance done periodically. And uh, so, Number one thing I noticed, the marquee, which I was aware of, the marquee is supposed to light up when you select a different game. Okay, so as you can see, taking the marquee, this luminescent paper um, has, you know, current goes through it and it lights up. Now, the shelf life on this stuff uh, is not, uh, it's not supposed to last. So even if I were to try to even get a reproduction, which they don't even have, but tried, uh, there was a project a guy was going to try to do, and he was going to try to mock up something. Um, it's just too, it doesn't, it's, it's way too costly. So what I'm thinking about doing is, if I can't find a reproduction or anything, I might try um, to just pull this out and put in some LEDs or even a fluorescent. I don't like the way it looks when people do that. I like to keep it as, as original as possible, but you know, doesn't work. Um, but I knew that going into it. Alright, so, and then you also have to figure 
um, to display. This is, well this isn't, but I had to replace the display. The machine worked fine, you had to you know, turn it on for about 5-10 minutes to let the CRT uh, heat up, to let all the uh, gases inside. Um, the colors were good, but then I noticed after a couple of months it would either just be completely dark and not come on at all. So I had heard that maybe it could be capacitors, they could do a cap replacement. I talked to a couple of guys, they said, you know what? It's a 20 year old monitor anyways, you're better off just finding another one. So what I did, I contacted the guy I bought, the company that I bought the uh, system from. And they still had brand new in the box 25 inch uh, Wells Gardner uh, CRTs. Um, so I, you know, I pretty much broke down and bought one. $500, but I figured if I went through Suzu Hop, which is another company um, that has a lot of aftermarket parts and does displays, I guess I could technically convert it over to an LCD or an LED, but I it just I hate when people do that. I think it just ruins it. It ruins the aspect ratio, and I just don't. It doesn't seem right. So I needed to get an original CRT. Flash forward two months later, the power supply. I noticed the fan was not spinning anymore, so I had to find a replacement power supply for it. Luckily, I found one for around sixty dollars, so that wasn't too bad. Um, and then I went down and replaced the buttons um, because the original buttons are, what is it, concave? They kind of have a, a groove in them, which I don't like for fighting games. I like them having convex, which I think are the ones that have the curve on top. I could be wrong. I probably am. Um, geometry and math were never my forte. Yeah. So as I say, I had to replace all the buttons. You have to unscrew them all and then thread them through and you had to make sure that you had the positive and the negatives hooked back up. Um, see if I can do this with two hands. But yeah. So this is the inside and you can see I mean they're pretty much just giant carts. You can see they're pretty much just giant carts and they just sit on the motherboard. Um, I had him wire up an additional, uh, this is the audio right there, you'll notice, um, it has a knob and it's very, very fine tuned, uh, it doesn't take too much to get this thing to, and that's the, uh, what do you call them, uh, pots, I don't know if that's correct, pots, it's pretty much controlling just the greens, the reds, horizontal vertical line uh, placement, and down below that's the coin mech and the power, and one of these Coin mix does not light up. I have to get a light bulb for it. You know, is it really that important to me? Yeah, but it's a light. But down here, this is where I store all the additional hardware um, schematics. Saying schematic. But this is what I'm talking about. You'll see it's half. Now I could find I found replacements. You can usually go get the dimensions all set. Um, and then it's just a matter of you know going down to Kinkos or Staples and get it um, printed up. I think that it was either just damaged. Um, you know, because it is over 20 years old, and you just probably just cut the whole marquee. Usually, it would say Neo Geo right here, and then the sides. And the sides aren't in too rough shape. I mean, it actually does still say Neo Geo and SNK, but you can see people rip their names all over it, scratched it up. So you can find replacement uh, side uh, marquees for it, but uh, I don't know. I'm not too gaga about. I mean, I could probably just get some white paint and freaking touch that up. It doesn't look like it's too bad, you know? Same on this side. Scratched all the hell. But yeah, I just want to make a really quick video. I know it probably isn't quick after I'm all done editing and everything. I'm sure it's going to be well over 10 minutes long and it probably lost a lot of people along the way. Whatever. I think it's really good because I didn't know a lot of this stuff, and I still don't, but I've had sense to do a lot of maintenance and get myself up to speed on... Neo Geo. Also, forgot to mention, 
the motherboard, you can get a universal BIOS chip for it. Um, it'll give you the functionality of both the MVS and the AES. Um, the AES was the home uh, home console version of the MVS. And for games like I Have Samurai Showdown 3, it'll give you the option for, uh, you know, it's a fighting game. And in the arcade, if you were playing and someone challenged you and they won, well, if you went to go challenge them again, they didn't have the option to choose again what their character was going to be. With the Universal BIOS chip, it gives you the option to pretty much set the arcade game to home uh, console version so that you would be given the option. Both players could always pick a different character, which makes a lot of sense because you may want to switch up every match. If you can find, they do, there is a company, and I will try to put a link, they're in China, and yes, they do make a multi-cart. They have about, you know, it's 150 in one or 80 in one, and it's a lot of the hacked or um, complete, I guess you could say. Uh, for games like this, SPC vs. NSNK Chaos, um, the hacked version has all the secret characters. We're talking about Firebrand, it's got Evil Ken, um, it's got Zero from Mega Man, um, which on my version, it just doesn't exist. So that's something I would like to get, but it does cost around $80 to $150 with you know $20 shipping from China. Another thing I want to get. So, uh, but I hope uh, this was helpful to anyone. Uh, if you have any other questions, just PM me. I have no problem answering them. If I can, if I can't, then I... I'll find, I'll find it. So, as always guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned.